Não foi dessa vez que a seleção brasileira tirou o gostinho de revanche contra o Canadá. As meninas do Brasil perderam a primeira partida das duas que vão fazer contra as atuais campeões olímpicas por 2 a 1. Era a primeira vez que uma seleção principal atuava na Vila Belmiro. E claro, as meninas queriam fazer bonito, no palco que já foi de Rainha Marta e Rei Pelé. Apesar das meninas do Brasil chegarem primeiro, foi o Canadá que abriu o placar. Fleming, de cabeça, acertou o travessão. No escanteio, jogada ensaiada. Ela tocou para Lawrence, que cruzou na área. Zadorsky, de cabeça, encobriu a goleira brasileira. 1 a 0 Canadá. Com a torcida comparecendo em peso e apoiando, o Brasil respondeu. Ari mandou uma bomba e quase fez um golaço. O problema é que a resposta do Canadá foi ampliar o placar. Fleming cobrou o escanteio e Adriana Leon pegou de primeira no canto de Lorena. Um golaço. 2 a 0 visitantes. As comandadas de Pia chegavam bastante, mas pecavam no último passe ou na hora de finalizar. Foi então que a artilheira Debinha apareceu. Após ótimo passe de Caroline, ela dominou e tirou da goleira Sherigan com muita categoria. 2 a 1. No segundo tempo, com muitas substituições e muita cera da goleira canadense, o ritmo do jogo caiu bastante e o Brasil teve menos chances. Bia Zanerato assustou em cobrança de falta por cima. E Ari assustou em um outro chute de longe, dessa vez defendido pela goleira Sheridan. As técnicas Bev Christman e Pia Sonhog falaram aqui na sala de coletiva da Vila Belmiro. Ambas pareciam satisfeitas com o desempenho de suas equipes, mas claro, só uma delas estava feliz com o resultado. Yeah, what they did was probably what we expected, um, because we we prepared for it. I think at times we have to do a better job of balancing um, what we do in them moments. But you know, I think when you've got the likes of a Jesse Fleming, Julia Grosso, you know, they're consistently bravely shown for the ball. It's whether or not we play them or whether we, you know, skip skip them lines I think it's trying to get that balance and variation of how we play but I think you know what you see in every backwards pass Brazil were, were pressing and and dangerous in that space um, and I think and I said it before the game I think this Brazilian side look fitter they look quicker um, and and more of a threat to be honest in terms of how quickly they can turn over and, and counter-attack than what we faced last summer. Bia has a great left foot and she's been playing up top Uh, the most of the games in the national team. Uh, we thought just have a little bit of different angle on that play up top. Uh, she has dispossessed too many times, I think. But this first 45 minutes, I think she played very well. And the fact that she's pinched in a little bit, she gets closer to uh, to the uh, to the goal and. Um, The, the beauty of that is with the left footed uh, is um, uh, and we did, this, did see that a couple of times early cross with her left foot uh, and of course there is a chance to play up top as well so this is why we're trying different things uh, when it comes to the to the connection uh, because football is about distances Football is about making decisions and movement off the ball. So if the distances are too far, uh, then we, it's hard to get connected. So I think it was, um, uh, we talk about uh, compacta zone in the, in the defending, but we also talk about compacta zone in the attack because it is a Brazilian team. I wouldn't say that if I had uh, the Swedish national team. Uh, but this is different and they play with so small um, uh, chance uh, and uh, when it works, it's beautiful. When it doesn't, it's not so good. <laughs>